Good morning, dear all. Today we have with us Nishant Bhavi, who got 964 All India rank in JWE Advanced 2022 exam, and currently he got admission into IIT Bombay. So Nishant, congratulations for the great success you achieved. Today we'll just talk with Nishan and we'll just try to understand exactly how did his study uh, in last two years. So my first question to you Nishan, exactly when the first time the thought came in your mind that you should try for IIT? So not the preparation but the thought began when I was in 8th standard. The sir told me about the foundation courses which were very new concept to me but I started going there and 8th, 9th, 10th I did my foundation course. So the foundation course is not something that um, that helps you prepare for JE, but it get, gives you the knowledge or the path that you need to go there. Okay. So that time uh, when I started giving the different competitive exams, I realized that the next destination after 10th standard is IIT. And so I wanted to go there. Okay. Uh, talk something about your preparation for IIT last two years. What exactly your strategy? Um, how much uh, per day you have you planned? Per day wise your study or weekly your study, how you plan your day while doing the preparation of IIT? Okay, so our batch was completely online, so the traveling time can be completely ignored. But uh, I used to plan topic wise, see um, let's say physics, chemistry and maths. You need to complete the, a few topics of all of them, but I couldn't do one subject per day, so I mixed it up. I just wrote down all the things that I want to do on a blackboard uh, every morning and that was my day, target of the day. I had to complete it then only I'll sleep. So nothing like uh, you have to study for 10 hours, I, I would say you have to study for 10 or 12 hours. It's something that you have to set for yourself and achieve that goal. Every but day. still approximately, uh, I, I do accept with the point that it's not necessary that you have to plan for 10 hours or 20 hours per day study. Mm -hmm. But randomly if you think about that, how mm -hmm. much you used to study per day? Probably 8 to 10 hours. 8 to 10 hours still eight used to, to study. Yeah, yeah. So when you set a target, I used to set a target that was unachievable. This you are talking about 8 to 10 hours apart from the lectures which you used to apart attend on the lectures. Uh, because see, my lectures ended around 3 o'clock or m m around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So after that, maybe after one hour break, I had some time to study and revise the concept. So that I used probably 8 to 10 hours should be enough. Oh. But uh, I never set the goals that would be achievable in that particular day because uh, then you slack off. Then I, I tried that but I used to slack off. So the better thing is add some extra topics. Maybe I think like you, if you are able to complete at least these many then it's good. But even if you complete maybe 70% of it then it's a great achievement. Which subject you found more difficult while doing the, while doing the preparation? During preparation chemistry was a nerve wreck for me. I how you handled it, that pressure, then how you overcome it? Uh, more and more practice. The For JE, the more questions you do, the more uh, you get used to the type of questions they ask. So, eventually it develops, but the in, initially chemistry has a lot of mugging and uh, so that takes time, that takes time. But if you give enough time for it, then it's possible. In the more more questions, more practice is the only solution for it. Mm -hmm. Any time flumbled with this uh, portion of 12th standard board examination and the entrance examination, uh, there were a dilemma in your mind ki exactly what to do now, whether to focus on board exam or JE mains or JE advanced. Actually, you focused on which exam? No, I focused on JE advanced. Okay. From the beginning, it was only my that was the only focus I had uh, because for board exams you have to get a certain percentage. It's it is important to keep it good. But when you study for advanced, you don't need the theory portion as much as you uh, need the the multiple questions aptitude. So, so you focus on more MCQ yeah, pattern. More MCQ pattern. That, and that works for mains too. So mains and advanced preparation is not uh, vaguely apart. If you study for advanced, your mains is done. If you study for mains, a large portion of advanced is done. More extra effort is required, more types of questions are required. Level yeah, that's what my next question is. What is the difference between JWE mains exam and JWE advanced exam? Uh, while doing the preparation of JE mains, do you think about that? That JE advanced is also covered in that, or JE advanced is a different cup of tea? Uh, 
जे एडवांस टेस्ट योर बेसिक कंसेप्ट डेप्थ ऑफ नॉलेज इज टेस्टेड इन जे एडवांस मेन टेस्ट हाउ बेटर कैन यू लर्न द थिंग्स इफ यू कैन लर्न वट एवर द कंसेप्ट आर वट एवर द फॉर्मुलाज आर वेरी गुड देन मेन्स इज नथिंग यू कैन इजिली डू इट एंड एंड द बेसिक कंसेप्ट शुड बी क्लियर सो इफ फॉर एडवांस द बेसिक कंसेप्ट मैटर एज एवरी वन नोज द सिलेबस फॉर एडवांस इज लिटिल बिट लेसर देन मेन्स few top, topics are not there that's just because they want to they want to test how better you understand the subject to do its depth okay. so, hmm. next question to you in this during journey of 2 years while doing the preparation of jw advance if you depress every time or you thought ki no this is not my cup of tea and i may not get iit i may not get a success in jw advance any time you get depressed yeah definitely when you get a when i got a bad score really bad score then uh, when you start thinking that uh, i got a bad score now what can i do what's the next thing i have to study hard or i will not get it that's the chain of thoughts that goes down so what is the solution of that how to overcome it solution is for me that works the best was the fear of failing if uh, i know that i have set a bar i set some expectations from everyone so that motivated me that i have to keep up with it how your parent help you during this two years or whenever you under pressure you uh, some thought comes in your mind that now maybe uh, this is not my cup of tea how your parent supported you what do you think what is the role of your parent actually in in this your success they believed in me more than i ever did so they were always confident that i'll get there maybe they didn't say it out loud but uh, whenever i said that uh, this is this is not happening i am not able to do it i I, sh- i think i should stop then only thing was just give your best doesn't matter whatever the result is just give your best and the most important thing i'll say that they never said a thing if i got a bad score they didn't shout or they didn't scold me that uh, now you shouldn't do it uh, that was never there they gave me full freedom whatever i want to do how much ever i want to do so that helped me develop more because they, they didn't give put any pressure on me as such but if you won't score good in any exam then uh, what was their reaction in that case what was their suggestion to you ki now what next the suggestion was buckle up whatever it is it's fine it happened sometimes it doesn't go according to your plan but <clears throat> there will be good days uh, it always alternates in between good and bad so you have to study hard at the topics the exams whenever we give exams there are on a few topics so that just tells me that there are topics which i'm good at and there are topics which are bad i have to work at my weak zones so that's what i do how you what was your pattern of taking break matlab when you were tired of with the study mm. uh, then what you used to do now to you need a some relaxation what is your pattern to get that relaxation for me it was cycling okay uh every evening i went cycling for at least an hour so um, i decided that uh, let's say a topic from maths i have to complete for 50 questions if i do that then i'll get one hour break so the one hour break used to motivate me somehow to do the questions you used uh, social media during this two years no are you on fb insta not at all not at all why मतलब नाउ एट एट दिस योर यंगर एज मेनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट आर वेरी मच बिजी इन इंस्टा ऑन इंस्टाग्राम और फेसबुक और दे आर वेरी मच लाइक टू प्ले वीडियो गेम्स हैव यूज सच टाइप ऑफ पैटर्न इन ड्यूरिंग दिस 2 इयर्स टू गेट रिलैक्सेशन आई यूज्ड टू प्ले अ लॉट ऑफ वीडियो गेम्स बट बट व्हेन आई केम इन टू 11th एंड 12th आई रियलाइज्ड दैट दिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू टेक मी एनीवेयर सो या यू हैव टू गिव अप ऑन दैट फॉर अ गुड स्कोर इफ यू वांट टू फोकस कंप्लीटली then this uh, social media is a distraction so you you are not on social media no? i use whatsapp though because because our batch was online so i had no we had no option we had to use uh, whatsapp that's WhatsApp. What's all what's the that, that's, uh, lecture that schedule the and test series right? schedule comes yes. on whatsapp that, but, but what about facebook and instagram no not at all i, I don't even have a facebook account okay uh, even now so i didn't feel the need for it actually actually have you ever thought about bombay iit matlab i know uh, you prepared it for iit mm. but the one of the most reputed iit is the bombay iit mm. so when the first time you realize now i may get bombay iit uh, not even till my result came came out 
I got 964 rank. That was even something that I wasn't sure about. Bombay IIT was later. Uh, it was obviously it was my dream, but uh, there are so few times that dreams are actually come true. So that I I didn't think that I'll get into Bombay IIT. I got that's um, my luck. Maybe the day went good, but uh, Bombay IIT. I've thought about it. After I giving IIT exam, G advanced exam. After giving your paper, you thought that hey, my paper was good, and now I may get a chance to get admission into Bombay IIT. Yeah, um, I was very convinced that I attempted. What was your feeling after giving J advanced exam? After advanced, I was pretty satisfied because I I didn't get all the questions, but I attempted as much as I could. More number the other questions, I just didn't know the answer. So how much I could, I did my best. So I had that satisfaction. Which reference book you used in these two years for physics, chemistry, and maths? Which you found that uh, our student also should refer this book if they are preparing for JEE Advance. For Mainly physics. for JEE Advance. Okay, for JEE Advance, for physics, Sengage is a very good book. If even if you see just the solved examples, it covers a lot of concepts, and uh, the type of questions covered are very very good. And uh, when you start preparing in the last phase, there are a lot of material like uh, FITG GMP is there. Uh, Irodo obviously is there. It's a it's a very good book. Um, Physics Galaxy is also a good book. So what about chemistry? Which book you referred for? For things? chemistry, organic I used M S Chauhan. Okay. Um, it is very it is pretty exhaustive. All the concepts are covered and uh, the questions are really high level. So it develops a thought process. And even G M P I used for uh, chemistry too. And uh, I think for physical Narendra Avasti, I found really helpful. And for mathematics, mathematics, uh, mathematics. There are a lot of books. Uh, Sangesh, I use Sangesh. I use Edas Gupta, Vikas Gupta, Samir Bansal. These are different. Depending on different topics, I use the different books. Say for example, for Samir Bansal, calculus. Samir Bansal calculus is excellent. I don't think you'll get a better calculus book anywhere else. Um, Sangesh. Matrices and algebra part is good in Sangeech. Vikas Gupta is good for algebra too. Tell, so, tell us something about your time management during exam. So while giving mm -hmm. three hours paper of JWE <coughs> mains mm -hmm. as well as JWE advance, mm -hmm. uh, do you think there is a shortage of time you found while doing giving full length test before your main JWE mains? Yes. Uh, initially, I couldn't complete my mains paper. Mm -hmm. the, the questions were just too much for me that time. But as you uh, start giving more and more tests, giving more and more tests is the key. You get used to the pattern. You get used to the time management. For me, chemistry was some uh, chemistry. I used to do in half an hour. Then uh, physics for maybe an hour or ten minutes, and the rest of the time for maths. This was my strategy. If I got fifteen minutes extra, it means I used to use them for uh, the questions which I have left. But one hour was the time limit. I used to attempt how much questions I could in that time. Okay. Uh, have you solved PYQs yeah. uh, while doing the preparation of mains and advance? That yes. is previous year's questions. Yes. Uh, what do you think? How much important for these students to solve PYQs before exam? Mm -hmm. How many times they have to try PYQs? For mains, PYQs is a must. The, a lot of times the questions are repeated as it is. I'll say for the second attempt of mains. There was a question which whose answer and options were just exactly the same. I didn't even spend five seconds on it. I just ticked the answer and went ahead. Mm -hmm. So that really helps when you solve PYQs thoroughly. You you have a complete idea of what type of questions will be asked. Uh, so PYQs definitely help. The more you have a command on those questions, it's good. How joyful it is now after getting an admission into Bombay IIT. Are <laughs> you excited? Say, I can't say enough. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, I went, to went to the, IT, yeah, so, uh, I went to the campus just the other day, and it was magical. The huge campus and the facilities are so um, up to the mark. What can I say? Yeah. It's just the best. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, obviously. Uh, the last question is: What is your career plan now? Of course, mm -hmm. you'll be learning, uh, completing your BTEC from Bombay IT. Mm -hmm. But will you stop your education at BTEC or what, any other plan in mm -hmm. your mind? No, no. I'm planning to go for MS in robotics and automation, oh. and uh, further that I, I want to work in uh, space automation. So that's the end goal, and uh, I'm going to work for it. 
Fantastic. Very nice to have a discussion with you, Nishan. Congratulations from our side. I hope more and more students will get a motivation by seeing your result and your performance. And uh, dear students, he is Nishan Bhave, got admission into Bombay IIT. JWE Advance, All India rank is 964. Now when I talk with him, you will find, okay, it is, he is very much relaxed. But I know, uh, putting hard work, last two years, the efforts which he must have put, incredible. So congratulations to Nishan Bhave and we will give our best wishes to Nishan Bhave for his entire future. Thanks Thank a lot, you. Nishan. Thank, Thank you. you and all the best. Best Coaching Institute in Dombivli or JWE Mains, Advanced, NEET UG, MHT CET, 11 12 Science, 9 10 State Board and ICSC Board, Regadikshit Science Academy.